Your Excellency William Samoe Ruto, Mama Rachel, Na Delegates Wote wa UDA, Viongozi wa Vyama Mbalimbali, Mine will be very brief. Kwanza Kabisa Hongera, Your Excellency, for the enormous responsibility that your party has placed on your shoulders, I have no doubt you have the capacity to carry. Jambal Apili, Your Excellency, those who wanted to disgrace you ended up lifting you to enormous and amazing grace. And today, as we stand here, I'm sure they are in a corner of shame in the history of our country. I want to tell you, Your Excellency, that in many life experiences, when you become a target of vitriol, malice and hate, you believe in the living God. And there is a common saying that what you may think is your tragedy is in fact God's strategy for you. And God's strategy was that you have these bad friends take you through what they have taken you through for Kenyans to see that you are a person vilified for no reason whatsoever, howsoever. And as we stand here today, I want to tell Kenyans that the decision made by UDA in the presence of all of us here assembled and the moving speech that you have made here defines you as different from them because you have emphasized that we must have production before consumption they emphasize consumption without production. And our country will never grow unless we pay attention to production before consumption. And my party, Ford Kenya, and all the parties that have come at the table to work with you, we know that we have made the right decision, but we even know that Kenyans have the trust and confidence in you. The other day I met a friend from the other side. He came to me sporting a distinctly Hitler moustache. And I asked him, how are you going to win this election? His answer was very simple. The state is with us. And I want to tell them, the state is with you, the people are with us. And when the people make a decision, we can only remind as I finish that the leadership that is now caged in a corner should read the history of Embarakan. They should read the history of Embarakanut, who was born in 994 AD. And you lived with such grandiose ideas of leadership and power 
that he believed he could order the tides to recede when the tides were coming. And we have a leadership today that believes they can order the tides to recede when the tides are coming. I want to tell you here today that the tides coming are not at sea. The tides are the people of Kenya. Na watapita na nyinyi mupende, musipende. Because when the people decide and when the people take their power, no army will stand in their way, no police will stand in their way, no money will stand in their way, no malice will stand in their way, we shall overcome and we shall make Kenya great again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mashimiwa. Let me ask our brother, Mashimiwa William Getao Kabogo. Shit.